Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Niskull. Today we're going to be finishing off Gruntilda once and for all. No more, no more gimmicks, no more extra modes, no more puzzles or anything like that. It is truly the final, final part of the game. And we get to collect all these shinies. No, of course. Kind of an oversight by Gruntilda to leave all of her prizes out in the in the playing field when the game's over, but you know, whatever. Oh, fiddlesticks, I forgot my toys. I'm not the one who owns the lair, it's not me, so whatever. Banjo's Lair, the sequel. So this is like officially the end game. This is where you would go if, to get all the rest of the Jiggies and notes because you need 810 to get in. Well, thankfully you're a super power gamer and there we go, we've done it. Oh yeah, no, no, no problems there. But additionally, there's another oh. portrait. Oh. And you need a lot of jiggies for hers because it is completely blank. Oh dear. It, and then, oh, that was her assistant. Ah, fuck him. He ain't nothing. Oh wait, no, that that was a different guy. Yeah, that 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 wasn't Klungo. No. Okay. That was that was Klungo's intern. <laughs> and Klungi. Can't really get in there. Yeah, that's that's uh the place where. Tootie was going to get turned into, into something ugly, but, uh... Disgusting. Let's do it. So we have 31 Jiggies right now. And we need 32. Fuck. Oh, no! Where's the 101st Jiggy? Back at Banjo's house. Or actually, he's just been wearing, like, a piece of jewelry with a <laughs> Jiggy on it the entire time. It's not over, stupid bear! See my picture over, th over there? I thought you were going to say, it's very bear. So how many does it take? 31 down to 6. So 25. You need a lot of jiggies. I mean, we, got all, we got all of them, and it only has a margin error for 6. So if you want to beat the game, <laughs> you have to miss only 6 jiggies. That's pretty outrageous, not gonna lie. Like Donkey Kong 64 is like, we're at level 4 and all you need is 30 bananas. But we're not done yet. Oh. There are 4 note doors surrounding this, wow. uh, th this final room here. This is Dingpot, this is what Gruntilda was looking at at the beginning of the game. We jump into him, and he'll take us to the final battle, essentially. Oh! But, yeah, you need 110 notes, or eight, 810 notes to get to the final boss. Uh -huh. And you see, uh... And there's some other doors. 100 minus 6, so you need, like, what? 90, 94. 94, uh, jiggies to get to the end as well. But if you get, uh... Everything. You have to get all 900 for everything, but if you do get all 900, you can unlock all these doors. I think I think the max is like 870 something, 880, 881 maybe. I don't know. Something like that. Some very high 800 number. Call 1 800 Jiggy. <laughs> oh my God, Banjo does talk. Splash on in, and I'll fire you up to the top. Yep. Just get it. yes, get, get in the pot and we we jump in pots. We get it. Come on. You get a chance to peck the witch's butt. What makes you think I want to do that? That's gross. It's covered in sores and acne. Say eight 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 twenty eight. Eight eight eighty two. That's that's a big one. So a margin of error of eighteen. Uh, eight oh wait. Yeah. So we'll start with this one. Ooh. Qu'est-ce que say? Oh, just a refill. A refill of feathers. So, we'll right. be, so we're fully stocked. So this one. A uh, refill of golden feathers. Refill good. on feathers. So wow, we're good th there. This is gonna be a massacre. <laughs> and we found Cheeto too. And the blue eggs, of course. Yep. Blue eggs. So that last one. Is it just like a laser gun or something like that? So we go into the big 882, and there's a <gasps> secret hidden one. Ooh, for the last six pieces, baby! Nope. What? Only four. You have a margin of error of two wow. if you want to get everything. And what does that get you? Double health. Holy crap, that's a great reward. So now, we're ready to take on this witch. Let's do it. That's actually a really awesome reward, Rare. And then... Uh... Oh, there we go, Kablooey! 
As to be expected of Rareware games, the final boss is multi-tiered and multi-layered. Great. So here we go with here we go with the first phase. It's where she's just on her broom and she's zooming around trying to hit you. Because you know, hey, you're just you're just a stupid barren bird. I got I got my uh, what what is it the, the uh, little so, broom launch, stick launch here. Master 2000 or Lard Master 2000 oh or something. Oh my god, it has teeth. <laughs> <laughs> like only lower <laughs> only lower sharp teeth. The problem is you've got to change the filter, so it's uh yeah. And then she launches meteors. Awesome. So you do this a few times, she's gonna zoom around, throw some stuff at you, and when she stops, you, you peck her butt. Ew. Peck her butt. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway. Is that the sequel to Dick Butt? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Alright, this doesn't seem too bad. No, no, no nothing no. too bad so far. Pretty Just easy tell. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Right, oh, there we go. And... Bam. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, it still worked, I think. That's yeah, still good. And uh, she, she still thinks this works, yeah, apparently. Okay, well... Maybe this time they'll stand still. And three... Oh, and... Oh, four. four. There we go. So, peck, peck. Donk. Got it. Alright. With this, we move on to phase two. The Armageddon spell. She's throwing spells at us and they hurt. Now she's gonna hang on the edge and just chuck fireballs at us. So what we do is we shoot eggs, and that's how we get her there. Must have a pretty big hitbox, unless you need to get on the edge there. Yeah, that actually yeah, worked. Yeah, wow. We, we get her on the feet. I think it's, uh, I think they expect you to get on the... Yeah, they, on, I was, that's what I was thinking. On top there, but this is just better. One more spell, and now you're done! She's constantly throwing fireballs at You'll never survive Armageddon! <laughs> Gratilda secretly Sephiroth. <laughs> it's just, just a vision. It's, oh god, she's throwing planets at Banjo! Stabbed your girlfriend is what I did! Now that flower girl, we are rid! <laughs> Her broomstick turns into a giant fuck-off sword. Twelve feet in length! Now that we've resurrected the spirit of Jehovah, <laughs> let's go hang out- let's go hang out on my pagoda! <laughs> God, the, the- the terrible fate of when Banjo joined Avalanche. <laughs> Gruntilda and Sephiroth joined forces. <laughs> but, in fact, uh, Banjo was only there for the ride. He was a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> I think Kazooie would approve of uh, Mormon Banjo. I, I, no. I don't think so. Most likely because she wouldn't take kindly to the people who just slammed the door in his face. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior? Uh, no, sorry. Maybe because he was not even like. She's, he's not in on this at all. Well, now she's in the sky, so we can't hit her. But wait! But now we can. So we just, like, slam into her? Yep, this is basically what we do. We do uh, the, the beak barrage and hit her like that. That is so awesome. This, this uh, looks cooler than it plays, trust me. It is. Oh, I bet. Again, I still have not figured out that holding R makes things easier, so it's just awful right now. I kind of love the idea of, like, bumper cars in the sky. <laughs> it's basically what this is, but she has a ranged attack. All I can do is just bash her with my face. Like now. Face! And it's not exactly even a all that accurate. So, goody. Well, it's all about the hitboxes, baby. Need to figure out what those are. You know, it's probably good that you got that double health. Yeah, it is. Ah! Makes, it makes it easier, certainly. With all my uh, legal Cheetos. As opposed to illegal Doritos. <laughs> illegal, oh yeah, you ever had illegal Doritos? <laughs> Ew. Well, they're tasty, but... It tastes like nacho cheese and wrong. Oh, not, not, the, not those ones. <laughs> See, there's, there's bootleg Doritos, and then there's <laughs> illegal Doritos. <laughs> The ones that they can't put on the market because they're too hot. They're dangerous. They could put someone in the hospital. Ghost pepper Doritos. Ugh. 
When flaming hot goes wrong. Oh, come on! Hotter than the sun. <laughs> I know, this This is maddening, I'm and, sorry. And yet, ironically, they don't melt through the bag. It's kind of like the uh, the thought process, you know, the, the xenomorphs have a, a blood that melts anything, you know, except for their own skin. Oh, I'm going crazy here. <laughs> aim for the witch! She's huge! Right, aim. Gotcha. Wait, don't you see that reticle on Kazooie? Like, with, without some sort of aiming system, this is really difficult to do. No, yeah, I totally understand. Like, wow! Like, what the, like, yeah, see? See? Wow! Like, like, am I just bad, or is it really, like, come on. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Like, the eggs hitting her shoes worked, but, you know, getting within, like, a speck didn't work. Come on. And this isn't the most reliable of attacks, either. There's another one you can do? Okay, that, if that missed, that had to call be a hit. BS. I, I heard the impact. That was a hit. I think I got here like four or five times, maybe. See, this seems like... Ah! Like, this phase seems finale-esque. Doesn't it? This has to be the last one. Well, that's how it ended in Crash 1. Oh. Fuck! What, what's worse is that Gruntilda's always moving... And before you do your beak bomb, Kazooie stops and takes like a second to wind up, so aiming is really hard to do here! It's alright. I forgive you. There we go. Ah, what? Come on! What? She sailed right over her! Yeah, you were perfectly lined up and then you just kind of went, nope! Because it's the aiming is awful! You see how the camera's just jerking around? Come on! Ah! Get over there! Hit the bitch! Don't you be the witch- No! <laughs> Thought you were talking about Kazooie there. Oh, bull! That's not- Oh, come on! Slid off the hitbox. It's not even really doing it, it's just like th ah! throwing a couple fireballs here and there and just going around in a circle. Well, so, she's so like- Okay, maybe I can get her when she's like, like facing me. There we go. Jesus. All right. I'm gonna run out of fucking feathers. And that's hilarious. Alright, so now we're hitting the fourth phase. She's got a shield, and now she's invulnerable to damage. Alright, let's all go home. We can't beat her. Until the Jinjo statues appear. Oh uh, yeah. Alright. I was wondering when this was going to show up. So, we fire eggs into there, but she's still firing uh, fireballs at us, so she's not going to give us mm -hmm. much chance to really do so. But you, you put uh, the, uh, throw the eggs in the statue, statue turns to life. Bam, that's how she gets hurt. Because Jinjos are like magical or something, I think. Makes sense. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. I mean, I mean, they, they turn into, into puzzle pieces when you get five of them together, so... Damn it, she's really on me. Just just take your lumps, Banjo. It's almost over. Oh, let me guess, there's one more. Alright, that's green. And bam. She's gotta live long and enough, so that way. And boom. Bam, there we go. Now she's on the edge. Prime for the kill. And I think her broom's gone too. Yep. Oh, and she's killer accurate with that shit, too. I really should be using the gold feathers Practice archery, here. I do, Damn indeed. it! Oh, God, stop! A lot more a lot more health you're going to need! No kidding. And then just, like, run into her? I got all the health I can get. Oh, the final, there we go. The Ginjinator! The final Jinjo statue! That's where it's from! It is this game! Yeah! She's still firing things that go right through the fucking <laughs> statue! And I'm not even hitting the holes! The hitboxes on these holes are ridiculous! Good lord! I am- I'm gonna die. Uh, oh, she's going uh, nuts with these uh, fireballs, uh, not giving me any- uh, not giving me uh, any chance edgewise. Do -do 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 -do. Come on, Banjo, you got this. Feathers. Just, just use your golden, use golden feathers. Just use golden feathers. All right, just use the golden feathers when she throws the fireballs, and then when, when she does that, spit them out. Go. 
Okay, good. Got that one. All right. Good. <laughs> good. 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 Oh, this is awesome. And then, bam. He throws that. All right, come on. Almost got it. All right, got that one. Now I get this one. Ah! Whew, that was close. Last one. All right. All right, got to get this one now. Oh, no! Oh. And it dumps me all the way back to the beginning, so I gotta get those feathers again, and get them all the way back. Get those eggs again. Gotta go through all those phases of the fight again. Gotta do that aerial battle again. Gotta do all that. Now I'm gonna make you sit and watch every second of my refight. No, come on! Every single second. Why do you think it's 45 minutes? No! Because we're gonna do all this fight again. So anyway, you got the last fight here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Alright, activate the almighty Ginginator. Alright, here we go. The almighty Ginger. Did a lot better this time around. I got this whole bar of health to waste now. That's going away fast. Well, I'll just do with my usual, my usual strategy. I've already got one of those, so now it's just, just a matter of... Yeah. Does it take two? I think it takes two dings before it closes up. There we go. Alright, go. Go, 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 go. Alright. Doing. Doing. Yeah, alright. Okay. Last, last one, we can just wait it out. Alright. The end of Banjo-Kazooie! There it is! Activate the mighty Ginginator! Out you go! Yep, this is where it comes from! Alright, almighty Ginginator, take down this green scourge once and for all! Smash true! Hit her over the edge! But the problem is the Jinjo doesn't really have Boom! good launching capabilities. No, it's just giving her a pummeling. It's like, just die already, come on! Not going down without a fight! All right. Even if you use all your might! Well then, let's use all our might! Ha! Boom! Ginjinatored! No! What was that? Don't know. And splat. Splat toe. Oh, Banjo's reveal trailer makes so much sense now. She's still not dead. Yeah, she's just stuck in the ground. She's an immortal witch. She's just not. She's not dying. She's just gonna sit there for all eternity with a boulder on her. Well, maybe she'll lose enough weight to become as small as a snake? I don't know. Well, we got a moving rock now. And now here's the real ending. I am just beat. I should mention this is a special ending you get when you get 100% of everything. Oh, cool. Gal with melons back there. Clever, rare. D oh, yeah, you exist. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. There's coconuts falling off the tree. Where am I even taking these? How did I get here? I thought, I, I thought Banjo had two mugs. I, that's what I thought, too. He's just yeah, yeah. yeah. double fist in it. <laughs> oh, good and crunk tonight! <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Kazooie, did you put the Kool-Aid in his cup? Is that... Oh, yeah, he, he thinks it's alcohol. <laughs> and then Kazooie just starts drink, drinking straight whiskey. <laughs> Deal with this shit again! Whew! Alright, let's watch the cast list now. Here we go. More credits. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, speeding Dingpa, up, speeding up, speeding it's basically up, speeding everybody up. else. Dingpot, Klungo, Topper, the carrot, and then Ball, Whoa. the onion. Collie Wobble, the cauliflower. <laughs> Quarry, the rock. Gruntling, the gruntling. <laughs> Ticker, the ticker. <laughs> Big Butt, the bull. <laughs> Grublin, the grublin. 
Leaky the bucket. Lock up the chest! Little lock up the chest! Yum yum the clam! Snip at the crab! Snap all the mine! Snacker the shark! shark. Gloop the fish! Grilled chompa the thing! Mutiny snip at the crab! Whiplash the tentacle! I, I see so many things, so many enemies that would end up in Conker's Bad Fur Day <laughs> as like the M rated version of themselves, and it's really funny to me. You're telling me they reused assets to make a naughty comedy game? I don't know, that bucket was spewing some F words. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I remember him from. Just just a couple reskins, it's alright. Maybe Leaky has, like, uh, government secrets. Yeah, he, they don't want it to get out. He gets all, he gets all the leaks. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Maybe he's being spied on by Russia. <laughs> hey, we got a lot of enemies here, I gotta name everybody. They name everything. This is just like Nintendo and Metroid, where they name literally everything. Not everything needs a name. The Zubas. I think those Zubas called me a shithead in a different game. <laughs> There's Cheeto. All right, b b back at the, the 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 final special ending now. And here's Caroline. I've been walking around this island in a lap for like twelve days. Still don't know how to escape. It's time for some secrets. Oh, secret pictures. Hmm. Things we missed, secrets used in the next game. Hmm. Yeah. Again, everybody who knows what this is, yes, this, yes, this is the thing and we're doing the thing. The fabled stop and swap. The fabled stop and swap. Got all 100 jigsaw pieces. No okay. problem. Got that. Got all uh, 900 notes. Got that. Everything is gotten. There's nothing that you can't hide from me now. We, so we got everything. What possible secrets could there be? We've looked everywhere. Secrets that are for Ow. New game. What? What? Oh no! The stop and swap function for the N64 was never really used, never really utilized. Correct. Until Nuts and Bolts. That with, is hilarious. With the release of Banjo-Kazooie, the stop and swap feature has been enabled for Nuts and Bolts. And it also is enabled for the Xbox Live port for Banjo-Tooie. Okay. So there is, the stop and swap is now realized. Accessible. Yes. So, basically, there are, uh, what, six, seven eggs, seven things to find around here? Mm hmm Little bonus areas. For example, here in Treasure Trove Cove... Yeah, we never saw this. Nope. A new island has popped up. Oh, so it, it, they it, they just show up now? Yep. Okay. It, it just shows up now. And now here, th this is funny. Uh, th uh, they're actually uh, replaying the inputs from the N64 version and basically uh, do okay. all this yeah. climb up here. But because the frame rate is different and changed, you can see the video uh, yeah, you <laughs> messing up. <laughs> Uh, the the timing is a little messed up. Oh, it, it oh, Harry, but it still goes on as if it was still. Oh shit! <laughs> that is a bug. <laughs> oh my god! They left in a bug. <laughs> That's it's because the frame rate changed from the 64, and they just kept the in, the input the same for the 360 version. That's and awesome. <laughs> so this one this one's obvious. Oh, 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 oh wake up! Wake up the controller. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely saw this because it was like plain as day. Yep, yep. We saw this. We can now get that. Okay, so this wasn't unlocked until now. Yes. So now where the stop and swap eggs and the ice key, uh, they they have appeared in the game now. And now we can run around and try and find them. Cool. That's what we're going to do for the rest of the time. Find the stop and swap eggs, like this one in Gobi's Valley. This door is now open. Oh, I, I hate the blinking, Rare. Can you please fix that in post? Eggs and keys. So try, trying to play video here on a, on a port of an old. It's, oh my it's, god! It's difficult. It, it looks so terrible. Uh, just, you can see the scan lines and everything. There's the egg. Yeah, I knew about the eggs. I knew about the ice key, but I never knew what they actually did. Those are the only clues that we get. Okay. He, he just gave us three hints. So Gobi Valley, Treasure Trove Cove, and Freeze Easy Peak. Yes. Those are three of, I think, six things we need to are collect? They, are they five eggs and a key? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. All right, so the six things. Well, then, let's get to it. 
to adventure! Woo! Off into the distance till he runs out of gas oh. and has to eat his own leg. Sorry, there are six eggs. Okay, so seven. Meanwhile, uh, Klungo is, uh, trying to move the boulder off of his, uh, mistress's, uh, rotting corpse, so... I'm Maybe he'll be nice and buff and banter too -y. Is this where she mentions banter too -y? Nope. Where they mentioned uh, Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts, they meant to say Banjo Tooie, but because you know, it, it, it actually gotcha. works in nuts and bolts now, so. Well, it also technically still works in Tooie. Yeah, that too. Especially seeing as how the enhanced remakes are uh, work together now. So let's get the first egg. I like this. Okay, let's go. There you, it is. You can tell the stop and swap has been enabled when that island appears. Ordinarily, that would just be a, a regular, unreachable tuft of island. But now, here, we can go to it. That's actually amazing. I didn't even notice this was back here. Or did the entire thing show up? Uh, there, I think there was an island that said Shark Food Island. And now it's like risen from the depths. It See, is now... I miss secrets like this. This is so cool. Yeah. So here we go. Get to climbing. Let's get to climbing. How good are you at platforming? I'm an expert. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I Nint know you are. Nintendo called me and said, "Wow, oh, oh. You, you're 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 an expert. Have ten million dollars." <laughs> and you, yeah. Nintendo's calling you up saying, "Hey, can you play test this Mario game?" Yeah, you're 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 too good at platforming. Here's ten million dollars. <laughs> play play more mediocrely. <laughs> can you please stop showing us up? Come on, we, we need is, kids to be bad at platformers. It's a lot harder than it looks because oh, I, yeah, the I higher know. you get, the pressure increases. Don't fall. So, okay. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. You fucked up a lot in this. Come on. No! no! Well, anyway. While you're back on your way up. This kind of reminds me of, um, did you play Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald? Yes. Sapphire was actually what got me back into Pokemon in the first place. Do you remember the Reggie Trio? Where you had to figure out actual braille. <laughs> nah, I didn't figure any of that out. Okay. I just beat the Elite Four, became the champion. I'm like, all right, I'm good. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Like, I love the idea of hidden secrets, whether it be from the beginning or you beat the game, you know, New Game Plus. Oh, now there's extra stuff to find. I love that. Games don't do that <laughs> anymore. Or at least not as often. Well, <laughs> games are desperate or... Uh trying hard to get, you know, a complete experience, let alone add extra shit afterwards. Yeah, you know what game I actually found out does do, like, a new game plus kind of thing and adds a shit ton of new content? Mm -hmm. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. How can an 80-hour RPG have new game plus? Oh, try 120 well, hours. Well, I mean, you know, with Tales and all that. Oh, yeah. The Tales series has new game plus for stuff. Yeah! Anyway, yeah! Here's there's one of the eggs! The pink egg! What does it do? Ooh, an egg! It's one of the seven stop and swap items we've been looking for. I reckon it'll unlock something special in my nuts and bolts adventure. Can't wait. So, right. is, is this like Kazooie's niece that's in this egg? I don't know. Alright, uh, next egg is in Gobi's Valley. You saw that in one of, uh. Yeah. In, uh. Mumbo's little clue there. So we're just taking a look at the, or at least hitting up the first ones that we got hints for. Yeah, just just kind of going in order a little bit. Now I have to ask, did you use a guide? Oh, absolutely. Damn it! <laughs> Where's your sense of adventure, Dad, man? I used to guide the whole time. This isn't this isn't about adventure. This is about completion. <laughs> but it would have been so cool if you would have been like, oh, that's different. Ooh. Oh, that's different. I spent two hours doing something <laughs> that could have taken me 15 minutes if I used a guide. I have wasted my life. Uh, oh my gosh, no sense of adventure. Yeah, how's, how's Donkey Kong treating you? I, hate, uh, I I've hate me. Because I've already finished my game and I'm just doing extra stuff and uh, you haven't even cleared the fourth level yet. <laughs> Here's the blue egg. Hey, at least I got the Rareware coin and the Nintendo coin before you even finish Banjo-Kazooie. That means I get to beat the game. I get to beat the game now. I didn't have an argument, I just wanted to do You're devolving. 
when he gets to the point of we know Baron Bird has gone too long. No, look at me. I'm doing a voice. I'm, I'm trying to be good. All right, we got Mad Master Mansion to go now. Oh, okay. There we was, uh, we're going to the cellar right now. Oh, is it kept with all the cheap wine? Or, actually, wait, no. Where are we going? There are two eggs in here. What? Yeah, I was I was surprised too. I was like, really? Stage is big enough for two. And please don't let it be in like obvious places. Like, let it be actual secrets. Like, do you have to flush yourself to get one? Oh, is it just right there? It's just right there. Oh, that's stupid. It's it's just right there. That's dumb. I mean, you wouldn't think to look at to go to Lago again, would you? I guess. But oh, come on. There we go. I like that new jingle Ooh. for when you Ooh. find stop and swap Ooh. items. Ooh. All right, next. Yeah, I, I like that riff too. It makes it feel like that you found something sacred, something secret, something even possibly forbidden. Nobody was able to do this back in 2000, I think. This game? 98. 98? Uh, yeah. Well, they want to do the stop and swap like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You stop the game, you take out the cartridge, you put in Banjo too, and that's supposed to be like yeah. things, but... Oh, that's awesome! This, this, uh, this cask had an X on it. And that was your hint. Yes. Oh, that's so good! Alright, what's next? Yeah, I think, uh... Rusty Bucket Bay has an egg. Oh, that, that's just grand. Um, I like the idea of stop and swap, except for the fact that the it was either the N64 itself or the cartridges changed to where stop and swap was inaccessible. Uh, it was a bad idea. Nintendo said, "No, no, 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 we're not. We're not gonna. Do, that's gonna destroy. There's no way you're gonna take out the cartridge while it's while the console's still on. It's, that's not happening." Well, it's definitely risky. It could definitely ruin your game. But I think there was also something with the cartridges, where uh, later cartridges only gave you like. A five second margin of error instead of, or uh, sorry, it was three seconds instead of five seconds. Oh yeah, yeah, it was something like that. And, and Nintendo was like, yeah, we're not gonna risk it. That's that's uh, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. That's a that's not. Happening. Which is why it is hilarious to me that in the year 2021, we actually had a speed run that used Ocarina of Time and Stop and Swap. Now we just do it for fun. Yeah, that, that was just like, hey, how can we break this game even more? The last uh, egg is in uh, in Congress Nabnut's Street. house. Yeah. Neppy nuts. But it ain't here. Why? I, I, I was wrong. I went in the wrong window. Went in the wrong nut hole. <laughs> Can you never call it a nut hole? What, what about the nut hole? There we go. We found nut, the right nut, nut hole. hole. Nut hole? You're nuttier than squirrel poop. Hmm. <laughs> acorns and my lovely wife. The eggs are around here somewhere. I heard, I heard the jingle. Girlfriend or something. There it is. Oh, there's a jingle? Yeah. So when you enter the area, it gives you a hint. Yeah, when you enter something, it means like, Oh, there's a, there's an egg here, but it doesn't tell you exactly where, because they're hidden in, like, secret corners, like in Nabnut's house, and in Waz's cave, and, the, and, and the place where Lago is, and... And this right here is just right at the beginning, isn't it? No, it's, it's just over to the left. Or right. This is like a good reminiscing episode. It's like, look at all these levels, and look how much you forgot. <laughs> there we go. Can finally get that lovely ice key. Yep, it's been avoiding us for how, God knows how many years. Ten years it's been avoiding gamers. Mm -hmm. And now it's going to come to fruition. And you're clearly the first person who has ever done this. Yep, only me. Nobody else. Ever. Dramatic emphasis as we do the walk up to the ice key. And... Boom! And that's it. Cool. An enormous ice key. We should keep this stop and swap item for later. And then it just melts. Uh, hey, Banjo! We found all the stop and swap items! Yay! Hooray! Time to ditch the checklist and stash them away for use in Banjo-Kazooie Banjo -Kazoo <sighs> Nuts and Bolts. Gross. Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, huh? Really? Alright! We'll play Banjo-Kazooie oh, Nuts no! and Bolts then! Alright, this oh, is uh, no! Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> Uh, I want to appreciate what I had to do to to make this work. Uh, because the stop and swap items 
appear randomly. So, uh, what? There, there are there are stop and swap crates. It, it actually checks to see if you have a Banjo Kazooie save that has stop and swap activated. And when it does, it checks it, and so it drops off for all the stop and swap crates you get. So uh, here in in the overworld, oh good lord, we got the blue one on top of this lighthouse. What the hell is this loading, Microsoft? This is on Xbox One, for God's sake. It's an Xbox 360 game, though. Oh, uh, well... And over here, we got the green crate. Okay. I, got, I, got, I should mention that if you want to get all these, uh, you have to basically beat the game. Oh, you beat Banjo-Kazooie does so, so I took... <laughs> six hours... Huh? To basically finish the save file that I had... Oh, okay. All the way back from 2008. <laughs> wow! So this is on your 360? No, this is actually on the Xbox One because guess what's included in the Rare Replay collection? Oh yeah, it's, there's nuts and bolts in there. And because of Cloud Save, it recognized my save oh. file I had from 2008. And so I had to play through all of it. And then when I got enough to... That I got the item I need that the game gives me to get one of the stop and swap eggs. I uh, got the stop and swap items, so now here we are. That's awesome. And here's the yellow one over here. All right, go get it. All right. We're so, HD, let's do it. So I guess I should, I should talk a little bit about nuts and bolts, shouldn't I? I mean, if you want. I will say, with hindsight and uh, about 20 years, uh, you know, about about 10 years after this, about 20, tw 22 actually after, after this, mm -hmm. uh, I have warmed up a little bit to nuts and bolts. But it's still not that great. I mean, I'm sure if I actually played it, because I'm one of those habitual complainers where if something's not like it used to be, I'm just like, ah, okay. Well, be because I have ukulele now, and because I like ukulele, and I, I can now pl I can now play this without the expectation of Banjo 3E because I basically already got my Banjo 3E. So seeing it as a vehicle-based game, there's still a lot of really dumb decisions here. It's still really cumbersome on a lot of things. But it's still better than it was when I first played it all the way back then. So we gotta bring these crates over here. And Mumbo's like, oh hey, yeah, this this is new Mumbo. He can like take yeah, out his eyes now. So you get a new special part. These are fluffy dice. <laughs> Zero gamer score for it. And so that is my first achievement. <laughs> I've, ever, I've gotten in this game since November of 2008. Oh my god, for zero points, Microsoft! Because you basically need to have another game in order to get this one. That's a, so that's a good idea. This one's crazy. This one you need to have like a spring function. <laughs> it's just, just, the physics is just not quite there! It's just not quite there! Oh it isn't quite there! Why would you do this? It's not quite there! Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you for going the extra mile. This is hilarious. See, see, people around this time, they wanted to do, like, 3D Havoc physics so much. But then they based entire games around the Havoc engine, and... Sometimes it worked when you get games like Dead Rising, and sometimes they don't work and you get games like Sonic 06. <laughs> this isn't as bad as Sonic 06, but... No, no. Th th it relies a lot on physics that's not quite developed yet. It's not really there, and then you get <laughs> shit like this, and... You gotta get uh, out, you gotta... Yeah. <laughs> Fucking in, you pick this up, and... Gang it. Rid it up. Oh, Razzle dear frazzle. lord, that's hilarious. Fraga, jagga, maga, braga, oh, god. Alright. Alright, oh. uh, we got Fuzzy Dice last time. What do we got now, uh, Mumbo? We've got a uh, goldfish. A goldfish. <laughs> wow, okay. Cool. <laughs> got a goldfish to our, to our, uh... So, do, do our vehicle. was there only one achievement for stop and swap? Uh, yeah, maybe, yes. Like, if you did any of the stop and swap stuff, it just gave you that zero gamer score? I'm gonna tell you something. What? Stop and swap? Yeah? For this game? Yeah? Ain't over yet. What? We get to Banjo-Tooie. There is actually... There's actually stuff to do. There is actually... Stop and swap. Two. Because it was actually programmed into Banjo Tooie. Yes. So they made a sequel to Stop and Swap, and they added, they added extra stuff for it. Okay, so this is just like, hey, you bought Banjo Kazooie off the Microsoft Store. Why don't you, you know, here's a little bonus if you got the Stop and Swap crap. Yeah. Now here you're supposed to turn that and open this gate up. 
which, which you need to have God. like uh, God. You, you need to no. not not only have the underwater thing, but something that makes you hold your breath underwater for a while. So you needed extra things for that, which is like 45 jiggies or whatever. Oh it's, my God! You need like 90 jiggies to get all the stop and swap crates. Wow! Because you need to get a special horn item to get the yellow uh, jiggy, which is just ridiculous. Yeah, just yellow jiggy. The yellow yellow stop and swap crate. There we go. So we bring this one back. Let's see, you got fuzzy dice, you got a goldfish, and what we got here? Ah! Uh, well, uh, the police knocked into my... A uh, beacon? Uh, a, a beacon, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's a, a police element added to this. If they see you taking in too many jiggies, or if you use, use your laser, the cops, this cop character, will just come and just run into you and that's, mess you up. That's dumb. It is dumb. This isn't GTA. It's, it's not a very... It's it's not a good mechanic, I'm sorry. For this one, we uh, hop over here into this uh, this alleyway. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we are. That's one crate, but that's not the crate. Get there. Get there. Get, 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 oh, get, get. <laughs> Christ's sake, get up there, man. Come on. <laughs> there it is. That's the crate we need. Is there a way to just... Whoa spawn your car wherever do you actually have to go back and get it every time I think you have to go back and get it every time oh lord I think there are ways to bring it here well there's one fix we could do you know just like you know snap your fingers and <laughs> a mole on a pole huh? bottles no yeah okay yeah okay yeah yeah he's okay. dead okay yeah and I notice these aren't actually good items either. For this one, uh, again, we gotta dive underneath and have this special flotation <laughs> device that helps us breathe underwater. I, I hear some, now some slight defeat in your voice. There, there, there's there's a grid here. We use a laser to to break it down, but I've already broken it down because we gotta move forward here for the sake of the game. Mm -hmm. but here's where the red egg is. And maybe we just Gary's mod our way through here. Just man. did it work? Physics, physics, physics! Come on, come on, physics! Work with me. I love this so much. It didn't work. <laughs> come. All right. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Oh, this, this is just fantastic for me. The, but the the thing is, though, this isn't just some lazy slapdash vehicle game they want to do. This this is they, they put some effort into this. Uh huh. They just need to put a little more polish on it to make it better. But do you think this is Microsoft meddling? Possibly, but I think that they also wanted to do this too. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, disco ball for this one. All right, so I can definitely tell there's some love in there because the little bit I've played of Nuts and Bolts, they had the references down pat. I mean, it's solid. It's, it's, it's there's a lot of really kind of meh things about it, and that's pretty sad, honestly. So for this one, you really just need to honk your horn, and it spooks a ghost that is sitting on the crate. So the ghost goes away, and you can grab the crate now. But he's been sitting on that box for 40 years. He's been sitting on that box since I started the game. This is a long let's play. <laughs> what are you, like like 70 or 80 now? So we take this uh, take this one back and it's uh, yeah, googly eyes. Oh, come on. All right, that's kind of cute. Which uh, at first it's like, well, all right, I can make everything all googly eyed. Mm -hmm. The last one on top of Boggy's gym is the ice key crate. I think people would have been nicer on this if there was a bit more platforming added. Instead of it being solely vehicle based, if you had, you know, you know, portions of platforming, I think people would have been better well, on that. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't the levels, like, unnecessarily huge? Just so you can drive your car it's around? Not that they're unnecessarily huge. I mean, it does take a bit to get around. But the thing is, it's the same level, but they have different things uh, added on it. Mm. Like, with this one, it's at night. This one, it has other characters and different challenges and all, and all that. Yeah. Just, just get over there. Alright, last thing is the Union Jack. 
Boo! Well, that's all the stop and swap stuff, and that's really all that uh, Nuts and Bolts has to offer us. So, uh, I mean, there's not much I can do now, except for next time, it's gonna be Banjo Tooie! Yay! We're starting the, the playthrough of Banjo Tooie, and it's bigger, better, crazier, deeper, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll see you next time for Banjo Tooie. Yes! Yeah! And not nuts and bolts. And not nuts and bolts. No way. Yeah.